Okay, so I wanted to show you how to actually get that karaoke writing that you see on that video using wave.video. So I've been using wave.video for quite some time now, and I've been creating YouTube shorts for YouTube over the last, you know, since they've been out. But one of the things that really makes your YouTube shorts pop is having the text as you speak. So in other words, the captions in a karaoke style. So this video is just going to show you exactly how to add those onto your video. So I'm going to jump into my screen share and we're going to go through how to do. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to upload your video into your suite. Now here, I've already uploaded this new one, five video ideas for digital strategies. However, if you haven't uploaded your video already, just click this upload option and it's going to pull one of your files in, click the file that you want, click open, and it's going to bring that file up into the wave.video area. Now, in order for you to edit this, all you need to do is click down here on these three little dots and go to edit video. This is going to open up a new window where you can actually see this video. What I want to concentrate on today is take this to the beginning and then go to this option here where it says captions. So go ahead and click captions. While you're watching me click that and while this is rendering, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about using wave.video and how you can enhance your YouTube shorts using their tool. You could also use this for Instagram Reels and TikTok videos. So now what we've got is we're inside our video editing suite. We've clicked the captions option. Over here, we need to click add captions. So go ahead and do that. And we're going to do auto because inside the wave.video software, they have the ability to actually make track of, of auto transcribe for you. So go ahead and click that. We click create captions. You need to make sure that your source language is right. So I'm English, British English, so make sure that's there. You can change it to whichever way you want, United States, etc., etc. There's quite a lot of different languages. You can also translate your language into another language if you want to. So if you wanted to do that, you could go ahead and do that. If you want to have a one-line caption or a two-line caption, for YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels and say TikToks, I would suggest that you go for two line captions because we want to have the bulk of the of the audio written so that people can see it. So then all you need to do is make sure you select all. Now the reason you select all is if you've got more than one video in the timeline. So in other words, if you upload say two or three takes and you join them together, you need to make sure that that is all selected. So go ahead and create captions and it's going to do the work for you. Now, because this is a short video, it doesn't take very long to create them. If you've got a slightly longer video, it's obviously going to take a little bit of time to create them. So now what we do is, I'm just gonna move myself up here so that I'm out of the way of all the timeline for you. <clears throat> now what we do is we just go through and make sure that the spelling is correct. As you can see, you can see what it looks like up here. Now I'm gonna just drag this out so that the Captions, although I've said two lines, because of the size, they're th four lines, but that's fine. I'll show you how to change that in a second. Just wanna make sure that the spelling's right. So go through and go five video ideas for digital marketing companies to attract new clients. Now, what you can do is you can click where the cursor is here and press delete and a space. So that's now made it into three lines. So you can see how you can manipulate how it all works. And if you wanted to, instead of saying number two, you could actually change this to the number two, and that makes it a little bit more. And then instead of a comma, do a dot, and that's sort of how it works like that. So just go through. So sometimes you do have to do a little bit of work, but it's okay. You know, this is, this is the whole joy of it because it's so easy to do, and it's so useful, and it's gonna make your YouTube shorts really pop. Okay, so then just go through the video at the beginning and just press play and let it play. And I'm gonna show you what else to do. So come back to the beginning, like so. Here we have voice. So in other words, you can actually speak into this and create the captions yourself. Or we do style. Now I've chosen bangers because I like that text. So if we just go back onto the text, you can see that it's quite bold and it's quite sort of like poppy, which is great. So I'm gonna do that. Now this is where the magic happens and this is where I think it makes it stand out so much better. You can create karaoke style writing. So if you click karaoke style and you press go again, it's going to automatically give the new colour in white. So as if you're 
Do you remember in the old days when we had our karaoke style and we were singing away to what's going on? And then we're watching the words and it helps you keep up because it changes colour. Well, this is exactly the same methodology, except it helps people keep their eyes on your shorts and listening to what you're saying. So they can either watch or listen and it goes in time with your video, which is ace. So go ahead and keep that on. I like it to be outlined so that you have this nice black border. So if you go ahead and click there. Now also the background of the highlight is black, but the background of the karaoke style, you can click here and you can see I've chosen yellow, but you can choose any other color that you want. So if I wanted it to be red, we just keep copying that yellow. If I wanted it to be red, I could do red. And then if I press go, it would be red instead. So you can see how you can brand that color depending on what you want it to be. So I'm just gonna put the yellow back in there. Oh, let me just cut the yellow. That's almost the same. And then just click outside it. So now we've got yellow again. Okay. So then if you wanted the layout to be different, all you need to do is come here and you can have a shadow, you can have a wrap box, you can have a transparent box, etc. But I think that the outline works best with the karaoke. And then if you want anything else, you can come up here to settings. So we want to show the captions because obviously we, this is the whole idea of having the captions on our video as it goes along. However, if you didn't want to show it, you could take it off download the SRT file and upload it. But this whole video is about putting these captions on and making it look like that other video that I've just showed you. So this is what we're gonna do. Then all you have to do is come back to the edit area. And if you want to add any stickers or any other animation, you click on the overlays, you come up here to Giphy, you type in what you want and then you add them in. But for now, that's all I wanted to show you how to do it. So once you've done what you've done, go back to the beginning, come up here to publish, Click video, it's gonna do its stuff. Go ahead and click render. Keep this window open while it goes from naught to 100%. And then once it's done, it's going to ask you to download it. So we'll come back and I'll show you the finished video. Okay, so now we're gonna download it in 1080. So click that, click that, and it's gonna to download to your computer. So go ahead and save that somewhere safe in your computer like so, and I will show you what it looks like. So I'm gonna open that up, okay, and then I'm going to bring that up so that you can see it. So just wait with me one second. Okay, so I'll go ahead and press play now. So you can see how easy that was to upload your video, ask the Wave.Video Studio to create the captions for you, tweak the settings so that it's set on, I use the font bangers and I added the karaoke style and then you just add in any other things you just fiddle around with the captions a little bit make sure the spelling's okay and then you just hit publish and then download and da da we have an amazing video so don't forget if you thought this video was absolutely amazing and you're going to try this out yourself then you can get hold of a wave account by using the link below this video don't forget to tag me in your, in your short video if you upload it to YouTube. I'd love to see your finished result. And if you want to know more about using video as a marketing tool for your business, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and of course, come back and watch some more. My name is Anita Wong. I'm a video marketing consultant and strategist, and I'm here to help you grow your business and your visibility using video.